Hey guys, Sally here. I'm the Drone Girl. Today I am super excited because in this case is the Skydio 2 drone. People have been asking me about this drone so much, so I'm excited to share it with you. The Skydio 2 actually launched back in October, started shipping in November. Some people got their hands on it then. I missed the boat because of coronavirus. Uh, as I said, this drone is made in the USA, and uh, because of that, because of the California shelter in place restrictions, they weren't doing any manufacturing, but they're back. They're finally starting to ship out that next round of products. So here I am. This drone is so cool because it's truly a follow me drone. There is a controller I'm gonna show you a little later, but the purpose of this drone is that there's no controller. It completely follows you. So you don't do any of the movement other than your sport. You're riding a bike, you're driving in a car, and the drone follows you and gets great shots. It's $999, super competitively priced with DJI products. Here is the drone coming out of the box. You'll see the battery goes right here. And here's the drone, it's pretty light, of course. Uh, the battery will make it heavier when I add it. So here's the battery. So this battery will get me about 23 minutes of battery life is what Skydio promises. But what's really, really interesting about this drone is I said it's a follow me drone. So it has uh, six different sensors. It's NVIDIA Tech and these sensors on all sides, here's one. Uh, they're all down below so you can see right here, right here. Uh, these can tell exactly where the drone is going so it can see a tree, it can see hopefully a power line, and I'm not going to crash into it. And then here is the main camera. Uh, it is actually designed to support ND filters. Polar Pro makes filters that fit with the Skydio. So especially for someone who wants to really level up their photography, hopefully they can do that. Uh, the camera shoots 4K video, so really in line with, with what you would expect for a drone at this price point. So pretty much in the box we have the drone. Here we have the charger, and then I have my cords to charge it up here. They also give me an extra set of propellers, um, which hopefully I won't crash, so I won't need these. <laughs> we'll see. So this controller, uh, you have to pay extra for it. It's $149, and here's what it looks like outside of the box. Just like any type of drone you're used to, like a DJI drone, um, it's got the stick, so up and down, side to side. What's interesting about this drone is that there's actually no power button. So you'll see just like that, the controller powers on, and then I close it, the controller powers off. It might look familiar if you are a parent fan. Skydio did in fact partner with Parrot to make this controller. It's the same as the Anafi controller. Of course, the Anafi controller is loaded with Parrot software, and this is obviously loaded with Skydio software. You can't use this with your Anafi. You can't use an Anafi controller with this. So if you're trying to save $149 and you already have a Parrot drone, no. So of course you can have the drone follow you just like using the smartphone. You can also have the drone be controlled with your controller and then you have a little bit more control over exactly where the drone goes. But this is interesting, this is called a beacon. So it's just this little magic wand. It reminds me uh, if Meek had something, and I think it was actually called the Wizard, and it was sort of a wand just like this. So this allows the drone to follow you up to a mile away. So even if you get out of the drone's view, uh, with this beacon, the drone is still able to follow you, which is pretty wild. It truly is like a magic wand or a beacon. You can point it, out into the sky somewhere and then the drone will actually fly to the spot in the sky exactly where you pointed it. This is also $149 in extra cost, so it'll be $300 if you get the controller and the beacon on top of the $1,000 price tag for the Skydio 2. So I'm very intrigued by this drone for a number of reasons. I think the fact that it's practically crash proof is really interesting. I've seen other drones that promise to be crash proof, like the AirDog, which I did test myself. Um, but that, the drone is actually just following something, an object in your pocket, an object you hold. It's not because of all of these six sensors that can actually tell where the drone is going. I will be interested to test out how well it actually works. I was instructed not to fly near power lines, so I'm already like, hmm, 
we'll see how that goes. So hopefully I don't crash into anything. Stay tuned. Another reason why this drone is really interesting is because right now DJI has a 70% market share, perhaps more, and this is a time when everyone wants to buy products that are made in the USA. There are so few drones actually made in the USA at the consumer price point. We had Three Robotics, we had GoPro, those companies are really not making consumer drones anymore. So Skydio is coming back with this consumer drone. A thousand dollars, it's competitively priced with DJI. I'm really curious to see if it can match up to DJI's standards. And I'm so excited to fly this thing. I think it's going to be an experience like no other. So let's go take it out for flying. For now, thanks for watching my unboxing video. Please remember to like, to subscribe, tell your friends, whatever you got to do, and happy flying!